Hey y'all, it's Ashley sharing a quick process of a layout that I've done for the Hip Kit Club and LA Studio Blog Hop that has actually gone live today. So the hop basically consists of layouts created by design team members from design team members from both the Hip Kit Club and LA Studio design teams. And so go ahead and go over to hipkitblog.wordpress.com. That's where the blog hop starts. Um, there will be a list of the different design team members that are included in this and it will take you to their personal blog sites and you can see their style and kind of what they created for this. Um, it's just a really fun event for us. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this process. So I started off with a white cardstock and I at first was going for a pretty clean look that changes. It stays that way till the very end till I add mist, but I still think it stayed pretty clean for the most part. I matted my photo on two different pattern papers. One was Ellie Studio and the other one was Dear Lizzie. Now I think everything else that I use besides the silhouette cuts are Ellie, or Ellie Studio from the Shine collection. Other than the pattern paper, the one pattern paper that's peeking out that's that aqua color, that's actually Dear Lizzie, but everything else is Ellie Studio. So I've kind of laid out my, my um, idea. I know where I want to take it, so I'm going to go ahead and put down my first paper piece of paper and it's actually a manufacturer strip from one of the piece one of the pattern papers and I've only pulled out a ruler because that's kind of the anchor and the start to laying all of my different pattern papers down and I didn't want to put that down um, sideways especially because I'm going for a vertical look and I was starting off thinking I wanted a clean look anytime I do a clean look I mostly want to have things straight um, now the next the next layout that I'm posting which will be up on Saturday um, or this actually tomorrow that will be less it will be a little bit more wonky and I don't want to give too much away but I go I go here and there I go clean to kind of messy to mixed media and I really like to change it up so um, for this particular layout, layout I did want to go clean a little bit more clean I guess so the silhouette cut is just something from my library um, probably I bought when I first got the silhouette machine and I cut it on I cut it out on some of the cardstock that came in our kit and actually my title is going to be from that same um, paper as well it's a silhouette cut that I've recently purchased um, the two hearts that are by the title down there I sewed together but they're from the LA Studio um, die cut piece pieces and then some of these pieces like oh happy day and um, the saying that says like salt in the air sand in my hair um, that is those are from cut apart pattern paper so it's actually from a 12 by 12 sheet that I cut apart and sort of made into little die cuts and then the wood veneer are also from the Ellie Studio shine collection so I'm liking where this is going I'm liking the layout so far and I'm gonna go ahead and use some glue dots I found these glue dots at Hobby Lobby I've been seeing people use them mine get I'm not very organized for one but the glue I think I had Zots and I think they were from Michaels and I didn't actually have the glue dots brand but I had the Zots brand I don't know what the difference there's even a difference but I think the Zots come in the the rolls and so I found these this little mini glue dot um, dispenser and I love that thing I love that it keeps them like all nice and organized because I'm just not that way at all and so it makes me feel that way but I did find that at Hobby Lobby and I had been looking for it for a while I almost ordered some on Amazon or some other place that I was looking but I did find them and they were in the glue section at Hobby Lobby there's two different sections of glue um, at Hobby Lobby for me there's like there's like the tape and the scrapbook aisle glue and then there's like the other where like the hot glue and stuff is and I think I found this in the hot glue section um so now that I've talked a lot about where you guys can find glue because you guys are so interested in that I wanted to get back to what I was doing before I went ahead and matted the wood veneer piece um that lemon looking thing I think that's what it is I don't know but it's really cute so I matted it on some yellow cardstock because it was kind of hanging off the wood grain and onto the white um, cardstock and so I wanted to get something behind that so that it would be a little bit more uniform and then I went ahead and popped my I went ahead and popped my title onto some foam dots because it just wouldn't it wouldn't have laid flat if I tried to and I don't normally cut up foam dots and go out of my way to do that I 
wish I would more often because I love the way that that looks and um, I'm going to start probably doing that more and it didn't take long at all um, but I do love the way that the title turned out I guess I cut a little circle earlier that I didn't use and so I went ahead and put that in um, tucked that in the corner down there by my title and it kind of brought that yellow from that wood veneer piece now I'm adding some mist and this is I believe it's carbon copy for October afternoon and then the other one that I use is pink lemonade I believe and that is it I hope you guys enjoyed the process and like I said go to hipkitblog.wordpress.com get started on the blog hop have a great day